Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, how do you handle JavaScript alert or confirmation pop-up? Let me answer. In Selenium web driver, we have to first switch to that particular JavaScript alert or confirmation pop-up and thereafter we can handle it. Let me practically demonstrate this for you. For that, I'll first open one application where we can see this JavaScript alert, JavaScript confirmation pop-up and all. Okay, so it is nothing but Internet Heroku app. Just search for this Internet Heroku app and you'll get this link. Just click on that. And you'll be taken to a page where you will find this uh, JavaScript alerts kind of uh, link. Just click on that. You see here we have a JavaScript alert, JavaScript confirmation, okay, pop-up, JavaScript prompt, different type of uh, JavaScript alerts are there here, okay? So how to handle them? It's very simple. Now copy this URL and switch to this Eclipse ID where already some Selenium automation code is written for opening the Chrome browser, maximizing the browser window. And here we need to open the application URL. I'm directly providing the URL where these buttons are available. If you click on this button, you will get a JavaScript alert. This is how the JavaScript alert looks like. It will only contain some message and OK button. You have to select OK. If you want to dismiss it, you have to press escape key on your keyboard. OK, then uh, this one confirmation pop up. OK, JavaScript confirmation pop up. So uh, what is the difference between JavaScript alert and confirmation pop up here? An extra cancel button is there, which is not there in the normal JavaScript information alert. So in confirmation, we have, we have to say either select either OK or cancel. Your message will be there. By reading the message, we have to say OK or cancel, OK? Then we have the third item that is JavaScript prompt, OK? So how this prompt, JavaScript uh, alert prompt is different from this JavaScript information alert and JavaScript confirmation alert. Here an extra text box field is there. Apart from OK and cancel button and this message, when compared with the JavaScript confirmation alert, this prompt has an extra text field, OK? Into this, we can enter some text. Okay. So these are the three type of JavaScript uh, alerts we have. Okay. How to handle them? It's very simple. So first we need to click on this button so that alert will be displayed. For example, JavaScript information alert, I'll show you. Right click, inspect this. And uh, yeah, I'll just take this text and I'll create an XPath expression. Double slash button text is equal to give the text of uh, that particular button and the unit. You see the button is getting located. Copy this button and click on the button so that you'll get the information alert, JavaScript information alert. By dot ID. Okay, provide the ID and say dot view. Once you click on this, I just close this. Once you click on this button, JavaScript information alert is coming. But this is synchronous or asynchronous. Okay. This is asynchronous. Why? Because when you click on the button, the browser page is not loading. To display the alert, the page is not loading. Okay, it is asynchronous. It's not synchronous. So there may be some situations, very rare situations where this alert will be displayed on the page with a delay. Then how to overcome that problem? How to wait for the alert to be displayed first? For that, we can implement the waiting mechanism. If you want to purely write the code for handling the alerts, this is the way. We have to first wait for the alert to be displayed on the page. How? Web driver, wait, wait, explicit waiting mechanism you can implement. New web driver, wait, and here pass the driver, comma, duration, dot of seconds. Just give some five seconds, that is more than enough. Or the most, maximum five seconds, that is. Import this, uh, and after that, wait, dot until expected, Conditions dot okay. Expected conditions dot alert is present. Until the alert is present, it will wait for maximum of five seconds. It can wait. So after clicking this, it will wait for the alert to be displayed. Once the alert is there, then next operation will be performed where first I have to switch to the alert. Driver dot switch to dot alert you have to write. This will switch the focus of the selenium from this page to the alert. And uh, this alert will return you an alert interface. Okay. I'll simply say alert, some name of 
as alert, name of the variable and create local variable. The return type of this alert will come here. That is the alert interface. Now using this object reference, you can perform multiple operations on this alert. For example, I want to read the text from this alert. Then I have to say alert dot get text. That's it. It will return you the text. So string text on alert is equal to, you can print it out. Into the output console, you can print it out. Text on alert. And after that, you have to either accept the alert or dismiss the alert. First, to select OK, you have to accept the alert. So I'll say alert dot object reference alert. Alert dot accept, I'll say. OK, once the alert is accepted, once the text is retrieved and printed and the alert is accepted, I can quit the browser. Driver dot pitch. That's it. Now run the code. It will be a bit fast. You can see the text from the alert uh, retrieved and printed in the output console in this process. Just focus well so that it is fast. Okay. What happened? I don't see anything happening. There's a problem. No such element exception. What is that? Uh, which line it is? 20. Okay, this is not working. Oh, sorry, I have to say XPath, right? So I said ID. That's a problem. Now run the script. Write it run as JavaScript alert, Java, Java application. This time it will work. Just see properly alert. It will be fast. The script will run very fast. You see, it was very fast. In a flash, alert came and closed. You see, the text on the alert also got retrieved and printed here. This is the process. Now, the same way you can uh, dismiss the alert. Okay, instead of accepting, you can dismiss the alert. That is pressing escape key on the keyboard to escape the alert. Okay, run this. It, this also will be very fast. But alert will be closed. But we are not accepting and saying OK on the alert. Rather, we are escaping the alert. Done. Right? Completed. Then what else? So this is what is about uh, in information alerts. Then we have confirmation alert. Again, the same process. Just change the XPath expression here. Copy this. Control F double slash button text is equal to the same operations we can do with the confirmation pop-up alert also. Okay. Because here, okay. And cancel buttons will be there and text will be there on the alert. Anyhow. Now we are waiting for the alert. We are switching to the alert. We are retrieving the text from the alert here. We can accept the alert dot accept. If you want to see the demo and all, I'll add some three dots so that it will hard for uh, hold for a while. It's a three seconds or two seconds will be more than enough for us to see why to waste the time. Now right click. Okay, here we have to give 2000 milliseconds, not two seconds. 2000 milliseconds is called two seconds. Okay. This time, confirmation alert will be displayed on the page. You see, confirmation alert after two seconds, it will be accepted. And the text on the alert got printed. I am a JavaScript confirmation. Similarly, you can dismiss that is selecting the cancel button on the alert, confirmation alert. will select the cancel button this time. Okay, done. So hope guys you got the answer for this question. That is how do you handle JavaScript alert or confirmation pop-up I covered in this session. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.